Hey everyone, it's Devin from the Maniology team with our weekly live every Tuesday at 1.30 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. You can find us here on another nail stamping journey. Whether it's a tutorial, technique, or hack, we're here to discuss the details and we're so happy you could join. Also, if you love hearing about every single time we drop a new video or you love being a part of our lives, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that way you can always be informed every single time we launch something new or we talk about a new fun technique. We love having you a part of the community and we don't want you to miss out. So again, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can always stay in the loop with everything that Maniology does. Hi everybody, it's Devin here. Tiana is helping out with the live today. So everybody say hi to Tiana. Hi Carmela. Hi Polly's girl, I see lots of familiar names. Hi Stella. Hi Grandma Mimsy. What did I eat today? Hmm. I'll give everyone like a few moments to settle in. So today I made this like Chinese stir fried chicken thing. Um, my husband usually makes it, but then he was too tired to make it. So he told me to make it. I don't usually cook this dish. I actually, I never cook this dish because it seems complex. And I was right. It was complex. And I was so mad. <laughs> so mad that I had to make it because he was like oh it's easy all you have to do is just you know add the chicken par cook it on each side pull the chicken out then add a little more oil if you want to infuse the oil you have to add this to it then after you infuse the oil add the vegetables then pull the vegetable or what he's like after you add the vegetables then you have to make a sauce on the side then add the sauce to the vegetables so that way it can turn into a glaze then add the chicken back in then add the peanut I was just like over it I don't cook like that I'm a very like the way I cook is like I'm a set it and forget it kind of girly so instant pot love the instant pot um a lot of my dishes they're not too complex they don't have so many steps but he was just trying to yeah see oh my god it's making me tired <laughs> like, it makes me tired too yeah i do my things is like okay for example kimchi pork you cook the pork you cook the kimchi or like you throw the kimchi in and the dish is done i'm that kind of girl or like an instant pot you throw the sausage in you throw the rice can of tomatoes chicken broth bell pepper done that's it that's all we're doing i'm like two to three steps cooking person <laughs> I don't get all crazy like that. That's my husband. But he also used to be, um, used to cook. That was like, he used to be a cook professionally. So <laughs> that's, that's probably why. So I'm lemon, lemon difficult with nails. He's lemon, lemon difficult with cooking. <laughs> um, anyways, tell me what you guys had for lunch today. And while you guys are telling me that, I'm going to get into today's topic. So I don't know if you guys saw, but today we're going to talk about how to flip your stamp. I don't imagine that this is going to be a super long live today because once I show you the technique, there's really not much more to it. And I know some of you are probably wondering, like, why would I ever need to flip a stamp? Well, sometimes you're doing a design and you need the stamp to go the other way. Um, yeah. And that's mainly it. Or, yeah, it's mainly that. It's just because you want the design to go another way because that's just how you want it. Or maybe you are planning to stamp the same design on all of your nails and you don't want the same design all facing the same way. So, ooh, I see a lot of good food items that everybody had today. Loaded breadsticks sounds amazing. Oh, man, I love bread. <laughs> Mmm, soup, yum. McDonald's. Oh, I love McDonald's. I love McDonald's. My family would always tease me too because like since I was a small child, my favorite thing from McDonald's is chicken McNuggets and um, french fries. Like, I love it. I cannot ever say no to a McDonald's french fry. And I know like... I've heard about the documentaries. I've seen the thing. My dad used to like tell me all kinds of crazy stuff. 
<laughs> but honestly, I just, I love it. I love it. I love it. And I don't think I'm ever going to stop loving it. Even everything I know. <laughs> I just really like it. Anyways. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, let's just pretend you wanted to stamp this fish on all 10 nails. Or you wanted to make a pattern with it. It's going to be really hard to make a pattern if the fish is always facing this way. And let me show you. So with this technique... I'm going to show you how you stamp it just regularly. The oh. one thing about wearing cuticle oil sometimes is that when it's time to use your hands to open up a bottle of polish, it's almost impossible sometimes. So we're going to just go ahead, apply black polish, and I'm going to pick up this design. So, this is how we stamp this design. Whatever you see on the plate and the direction that the design is faced in is exactly what you're going to get. Hey, Mystic Kitten. Hi, Stella. Oh, my nails. Yeah, I went like all out with my nails. I was in the fairy core vibe and... We did 3D butterflies. I hand sculpted this flower and then painted it. It was It's a whole thing. We did a lot. <laughs> um, okay, so back to this. So like I said, what you see on the plate is exactly what you're going to get when you stamp. Now, oh, thank you, Carmela. Uh, but sometimes we want it to be in a different direction. And in that kind of case, what you're going to do... You're going to take a monocle stamper. You're going to put it down. Make sure it's clean. So I'm just going to check. And then I'm going to take my double-ended stamper. And your polish. For this, you're going to have to move a little bit quicker. Did you catch it? It was fast. Wait, I did something wrong. What did I just do wrong? I just, oh wait, no, no, I didn't. I didn't do something wrong. <laughs> Tiana was like, Tiana was like, what? What are you talking about? Okay, hold on. Let me just remove this, this junk. I was like, <laughs> all right, clearly I'm having a brain fart because I was like, wait, it still looks the same on this side <laughs> well that's because we now have to stamp it so now let's just pretend i wanted the fishes to kiss now i can do that <laughs> so now i flip the design and there you go that's pretty much the trick all you have to do <laughs> is pick up the stamp and stamp it on another stamper. Right, kissy fishes? Hi, Brittany. So happy to have you here. Hey, Sheila. So today we're just talking about how to flip your stamp design. And it's really easy. All you need is your monocle stamper and whatever other stamper you want to use. Um, you don't even need to use the monocle stamper. You can use... Again, whatever two stampers you want. I specifically wanted to use the monocle today because it's easier to show you things on it since the area is so large. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And now let me show you how you can make a full nail pattern with just one stamp. Okay, also, I think I'm going to do this I'm going to do this on here because it'll be easier to kind of isolate it so that way you see what is happening. Okay, I'm going to use this fish up here. I turned the plate upside down since it's just on the bottom or the top of the plate and I didn't want to have to scrape that black polish all the way down. So first, 
Oops. Let's say, oh wait, let me not have my fish upside down. So I'm gonna stamp like that. And let's just pretend I want a whole school of fishes or a school of this particular fish. That is... Okay, just have to double check which way is right side up. So, let's say I have something like that. Now I want the fish to be the opposite direction. So now I have... Okay, obviously, you know, with a real nail, you're not going to have all this stuff on the side. But as you can see here, I already made a pattern, and now I have the fish swimming in another direction. So I can make a full nail pattern just off of one design, and I can change the direction of whatever it is that I want to um, switch. So that way I can create something more. So again, this is really not that hard of a technique. It's very, very simple, and I think you all will pick it up instantly. Oh, I even have a nail tip here. I can try it one more time with a nail tip, and we'll do it again with something else. So let me show you again. So this was like an easier one to show you because Obviously the fish are going in one direction, so it makes it very simple for me to flip it. But let me show you with something that maybe might not be as obvious. Okay, also the butterfly wings, or I think this is a moth plate, the moth wings. So as you can see, we have all the moth wings faced in a particular direction. And maybe I just want to switch it because I want to change up the pattern. Yeah. You're going to go show the, the technique again, right? Yes. Okay. Do you think it'll be okay if I show a, a timer? Sure. Because we have someone who's asking, like, does it matter where you use? But I also want to show, like, how long it takes, it takes you. Which okay. Which doesn't really take very long. No, it but... doesn't. Okay. Tiana says that she wants to time this. Um, time me switching the stamp just so that way she can... You guys can all see. Hi everyone. So Over here, Tiana's right there. <laughs> but just so you know, I have the timer. So. Okay. So when should we start it? Um, when as soon as the polish hits the plate. Okay. Okay. Give me a countdown, Tiana. Oh, go for it. Okay. Three, two, two one. one. Done. Okay, so that was like 13 seconds. Okay, 13 seconds, everyone. Did you feel pressure? Maybe just like, just like, just a tiny bit, a tiny bit of pressure. Because had I clean, I could have cleaned this off, and that would have added like two more seconds. Um, but in 13 seconds, I was able to flip the design. So the original is here, and then this is the flip design. So, oh, actually, I have an idea of how I can, like, play with that flip design. All right, I'm going to show you guys <laughs> something kind of fun to do with that flip design. You're welcome. Thank you, Tiana, for timing me. I am going to clean this off, and I have a really fun idea that I want to try that I just thought of right now to do our, um, again, show you how you can make a pattern, especially because excuse me, this is a perfect right angle. So I think, I wonder if you guys can guess what I'm about to do. Whoa. 
Well, now, this is not sitting in properly. Okay, perfect. So we're taking the design regularly. I have a nail tip here. And I'm gonna just stamp that on. Oh. Okay, so we stamp that on again, just like how we see on the plate. Now I'm going to do that design again. This time, instead of again switching, I'm gonna just stamp it normally like that. Now, we're going to need to flip the design. So, Make sure your stamper head is completely aligned or else you're gonna have a weird warp stamp. It's aligned here. Then make sure this stamper head is aligned. And then now we're going to go ahead and switch so we just went ahead and flipped the stamp just now. Okay. Actually here, let me do this up first. Okay. And now we're gonna do that technique one more time. We're gonna flip the stamp. So have your stamper on the side ready and clean. Make sure everything is lined. And we're gonna do it one more time. Okay. So clean any junk off. Okay, so this damp is flipped. And I created a full nail pattern just now. And that's another way that you can use the flipped stamp nail. Yes, this is a short square nail. Um, these nails are sold on our website. So these are gel press on nails. And this is a way that you can use your flip stamp design to create a full nail pattern. This would have been impossible to do if I had just used the stamp as is. Right? Isn't it cool? So this is one way that, again, using these kinds of tricks, you can do so many things. A lot of people think that stamping has limitations, and it does, just like anything you know, there are limitations. Even when you freehand something, it's like there's a limitation to what you can actually paint. <laughs> if your hand cannot do it, then you cannot have it. Um, and stamping does have some limitations, but I think a lot of people don't realize that there's also a lot more freedom in stamping than they realize there's ways that you can customize a design. There's ways that you can change up a design. And there's ways that you can create your whole, like a whole pattern. I mean, I just created a whole pattern off of this one wing. There are no full nail patterns on this plate. And yet here we are. So that is another way that you can use the flip stamping trick. Okay, so Another design I wanted to show you is doing one with mm, this full nail pattern and maybe even this one. So 
why this would matter, why you would want to do this, especially for the full nail patterns. It's like, why? Why would I want to do it? It's already ready to go. So if I stamped this design on every single nail, let me see. I might have something for you all. Give me one sec to make life a little easier. I better be careful, I don't wanna show you guys some, some stuff, <laughs> some future stuff. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do it on this because I think it'll be a little bit easier for you guys to understand. So if I stamped all my nails with this pattern, um, that's gonna get a little bit repetitive and you know, sometimes you don't want, you want the same design on all your nails, but you don't necessarily want it to look exactly the same. Does that make sense? Like, I, if I'm doing one pattern on all 10 nails, I don't want every single nail to look exactly like what I'm seeing here. So flipping your stamp becomes very useful for things like that as well. So let me show you what I mean. Okay. So we're going to first do it the original way. And oh, hold on. Let me clean off a little bit of that. There we go. Someone, I think in one of my previous lives, I had said, I'd mentioned something about like, sometimes you just want to get a portion of the full nail. You don't want the whole design. And someone had mentioned they're like, I don't think that's true. I don't see why you'd want that. Um, I think again, with art, which is what we're doing, <laughs> there are many different ways to do things and you, might like things a certain way and other people might not. So for example, this is just getting a partial of this full nail design. And even though I'm only getting a part of it, you can still clearly see what the concept is. And you can also still get the same effect of the, the design, if that makes sense. You know, just because I don't have a stem here doesn't change up the design dramatically in a way that I think is negative. I still have this nice diagonal line and I have the two flowers on each side. And I think specifically for this kind of design, I think that's the main point that you want to get. So I want you to pay attention to this line here. You see how this is a diagonal line that I'm creating? Or well, the design has that diagonal line, especially because of the way that I decided to angle um, the full nail pattern a little bit more to the right so that way we have a dramatic kind of cut off. So if I stamped this on all my nails, it would all look like this, which again, if people like that, that's completely fine. That is your choice. It is your manicure and you can rock it however you want to. But for me, I don't necessarily want to have it just like that on all 10 of my fingers. So this is what I would do in order to switch up that design. Oop, oop. Got a little bit of black polish everywhere. Why don't I use the cotton claw? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Tiana's laughing over there because she's like seeing me struggle with all this black polish, which by the way, I have to switch this out guys because this is just getting, it's getting nuts. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just something else. Okay. I didn't use this one up completely, but once I use this all up, I like to do this because now it's going to stick to here. So it's not going to move. I mean, this is probably not going to move too with the fact that it's like silicone, 
well i don't know that's not true because like look at this this moves a little bit you know but because of the sticky on this side it stays put so once you're done using up the sticky pad you can always just flip it and do that and that way your mat stays clean and you reuse this paper one more time okay so let's go back to this so i'm gonna apply polish everywhere like usual stamp stamp now it's flipped So now you can see I have the flowers facing each other. Sorry, there's a little bit of a cutoff because this nail tip is in the way. But I think the point that I want you all to focus on is the fact that now it's in different directions. So again, it just helps to add interest to your nails and the design a little bit more, just so that way it's not the same thing over and over and over again. Part of the reason why I don't like all 10 nails to look exactly the same with the same stamp is because if they see one finger, they're gonna know what all 10 look like. And considering that each of us spend a good amount of time in our nails or like on our nails and our nail art, I want people to look at my nails and appreciate the time that I put into it. So if they can guess what the rest of the manicure is gonna look like based off of one finger, then there's no need for them to like take a close look at my nails. But I want people to take a close look at my nails because I've spent so much time. So that's part of the reason why I like to switch up the designs and make them look a little different. Even if I'm still using the same design, there are ways that we can kind of play with it and change it up so that way it adds more interest to the manicure. So um, another way that I would probably do it is I would flip the stamp upside down. So that way the negative space would be down here instead of up at the top. So there are many different ways that you can play with it. And yeah, that was pretty much it today. I really don't have much more that I want to share with you guys regarding how to flip your stamp. I felt like the biggest flex was this one when we made a whole print out of a very small, like look at this. I mean, granted, yes, my nails are long, but even so, this is still a very small design because my natural nail which you can see right there, the line is, is pretty tiny. And yeah. Tiana, did we have any questions that I might have missed? No, I think we're good. Do you guys have any questions before I wrap up this live? Let me see, I'm gonna just scroll through. Oh yeah, Kara, I know. It's, I have found so many ways to reuse this sticky sheet over and over again until like it's completely used up. Uh, yeah, it looks like, I don't see any questions. Everybody seems to, here, reverse stamping and flipping. Yes. Christy, you would definitely be able. I'm not going to reverse stamp and flip because that's, I don't even have all the polishes near me to reverse stamp. That's going to be a whole process. But yes, you can reverse stamp and flip. I will say that again. You can reverse stamp and flip. So you would flip the design first, just like how I showed you, and then color it in and do your reverse stamping thing and then stamp it. I know. I'm sorry, Christy. We'll have to save that for another live. Like, do I have any stuff here that I can... Mm... No. All my... <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Hold on. Over here making faces at me because she knows <laughs> I'm a sucker for you guys. Okay. 
I will reverse stamp and flip one design. I'm doing it once. <laughs> and then after that, no more. Today wasn't even supposed to be a reverse stamping day. I was even telling Tiana, I was like, I think today's gonna be a pretty short live. Um, don't have too much to cover. It's a very easy technique, so, you know, I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. And here we are. Um, I am not going to be doing something super complex because that's, that's a lot. Uh, I think I'm just going to do, again, one of these wing designs, and then we're just going to blip it. So let's do this design here. First, also, let me stamp it in regular black and white so you can see what it looks like when we just regular stamp, and then we'll have the flipped design so we can compare. So first, oh, actually, no. Sorry, everybody. I'm gonna flip it first, and the reason I'm gonna flip it first is because it's gonna take a little while for it to dry. So while it's drying, then we can go ahead and um, do the other original stamp so that way we can compare. Uh, let me grab my brush. Hold on. Okay, give me a sec, everybody. It is. It's okay, T. I got it. Okay. Is this the world's smallest brush? Should I try and get a bigger brush? Probably. Probably not a great idea to mess around with the teeniest brush. Well, we're trying to cover a lot of space. Um, okay. Let's try this brush. It's a little bigger. Okay, let's see. The brushes weren't prepared <laughs> to be used. So there we go. Um, this should actually be fairly easy to color in. Oh, okay, let's not do it that way. I thought I could be slick and just dab on the polish and then kind of move it around, but that wasn't going to happen. I think I smudged the stamp just a little bit, but it's okay. We're not going for a perfect today. The focus is not on uh, my abilities to reverse stamp. The focus is solely on flipping this stamp. So if I smudge it just a little bit, it'll be all right. Yeah, we got a little smudgy, but that's all right. Um, okay, the polish color that I used is Mercury Baseline. So here you go, B175. I love this color, it's so pretty. This is, um, I feel like Tiana and I both like to use this color a lot. Mm -hmm. We like the Electro Glow collection a lot. Dev using the polish brush to reverse. Yeah, so the brush that I'm using to reverse stamp with, this was a part of one of our Manny by Me collections, but I believe we still sell the brushes and it comes in a set of three. Okay, so now let's stamp the original design. That way we can... 18 year old cat, wow, that's amazing. Um, that way we can compare the design after. So we'll stamp it in its original form. Here, let me 
clean this all off. Then I'm gonna use a clean sheet because I don't wanna use an ugly sheet. What are we talking about? I see something about nail tips and curing. Are you talking about gel? Oh, it's like, I love talking about our nail tips. I really like our nail tips. Um, I specifically like it because I've noticed it works with some of the other gels that I use to adhere tips on. So yeah super awesome <laughs> because our tips are they're not just plastic nail tips if you use plastic nail tips with gel like you know how the opre system works where you apply gel and then you use a gel nail tip to adhere you cannot use gel to adhere plastic nail tips it doesn't work because the chemical formula is not the same so gel goes with gel and our tips are gel which is part of the reason why they work so well with the other gel that I used to adhere them. Dev, use a script card for the paper to... Oh, yeah, I guess that's true, huh? Oh, that was smart. I don't... I've literally never done that. That's actually really clever. <laughs> to have, like, a nice, clean... Oh, I love that. Was that Grandma Mimsy? Thank you, Grandma. Okay. So, what does this design look like? It looks like this. So that's the original. And now we just have to wait and wait. Is it dry? I don't think it's dry. Nope. Oh, <laughs> it's super not dry. Uh, here we go. This is part of the reason why I have issues with reverse stamping. I mean, granted, I didn't have to, like, pour on the polish that way. I could have totally done... A lighter approach but for some reason I thought that I was gonna be able to just like put a dollop and then just like move it all over as we can see that I was wrong because we got some smudging but it's all good like right there at least this design because of the way it is it has all these like little black stuff and dots um, it I feel like if you smudge it it's not that bad Uh, no, not quite yet. Almost. Over here trying to speed it up. I need the Jeopardy song playing in the background. Because this is definitely what it feels like right now. <laughs> we are waiting for this thing to dry. Have you guys tried any new stamping techniques lately? Because I see you all watching our videos and I see a lot of familiar names, but have you tried doing any of these ones yet? What makes the lines lift when you're trying to do your reverse stamping? Okay. When you say lines lift, meaning how do you get it to transfer when you're doing your reverse stamping? Or, what, like, what do you mean by lines lift? Or, like, how do you avoid it from smudging? If you're wondering how you transfer it after, you can use our sticky base coat, which has, like, a very light tackiness to it. I've tried the double stamping but haven't been successful yet. Oh, yeah, double stamping, it just takes a little bit of practice. It takes a little bit of practice for double and triple stamping, and then also the designs that you use are going to be important, and also even, like, the type of polish you use. I highly recommend that if you're new to these techniques, try everything out with a cream polish first, like a newer cream polish or something that you added, like, a few drops. You don't want to use, like, a thick, older stamping polish when you're doing any kind of double or triple stamping or just any new techniques you want to make sure that the polish is like wet enough i know it sounds silly because it's like polish is always wet but when you have an older bottle you notice it has a tendency to be thicker so you want a bottle that's on the newer end or a bottle that you add a few um 
drops of polish thinner too so that way it has that like very smooth liquidy consistency and that will make your experience so much easier just until you get the hang of something and then you can start like playing around with finishes but when you're trying something out for the very first time i highly recommend to do cream polish it will make your life easier when you try to go like all out on the very whoops on the very first time it can make things a little harder or you might not get the desired results that you want okay so at this time i think that this is um, dry enough to transfer. So, okay, even this, like, if I wanted to, I could have made, like, two sets of wings. Or, sorry, not two sets, but a set of wings. And there we go. A reversed, flipped stamp. If I put it together, I would have had a pair of wings... I probably would have been able to like, if I wanted to, I could do like a whole layered design, or not a layered design, but um, a full nail pattern like this one that I showed you earlier. All sorts of cool ways that I could do this. You're welcome, Christy. Here I'm not using a sticky base for any of you guys that are wondering, it's um, sticky paper. But you can use sticky base, you can use nail foil glue. You just have to make sure your design is dry so that way it doesn't smudge. I hope that kind of clears everything up. And if you guys have any other questions, please make sure to type them in the comment section. If I didn't answer them now, we will have someone who goes back to, you know, answer the questions. I'm so happy you guys are able to join me for this live. Also... For those of you who are talking about double stamping, triple stamping, and you're like, hey, where did I, where do I see that? Did I miss something? Check out our lives. We did that maybe two or three weeks ago. And it was a really good one. I think there was jokes, I mean, semi-jokes, but also reality of we made stamping history together. So go check that video out because it was super awesome. And yeah. Oh, lots of one-on-one -on -one type questions. Well, I hope you guys have an amazing week and thank you so much for joining me. Everyone say thank you to Tiana. Again, make sure you hit our subscribe button if you love watching our videos. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys a little later. Next week, Tuesday. Oh, don't forget. Next week, Tuesday is the big the big Manny by me box video. So don't forget to tune in. Nope, can't say a single thing. <laughs> can't tell you anything. Sorry, everybody. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.